you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. If you believe, your mountain will move tonight. If you believe, the blind eyes will open tonight. If you believe, the lame will rise up and walk tonight. I say, praise the Lord. Somebody shout, Amen. Another, Amen. Another, Amen. And now say, so shall it be. Say that, so shall it be in your life. Here, the Alpha location. Everywhere, something good, great, gracious, glorious is happening tonight. Father, we thank you and bless your name. Thank you for bringing us together. What a glorious way to end a year. Lord, we're praying that today the heavens will open upon everyone. Showers of blessing, salvation, healing, deliverance, mountains moving away, great miraculous wonders tonight in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen in your life. Thank you. You can sit down. Tonight, I'm coming to Daniel chapter 2. Now you need to pay attention. There's a dream in Daniel chapter 2. Nebuchadnezzar, a king, an emperor, a leader, all over the world. He had a dream. Oh, you see dreams? I have dreams too. Everybody dreams. This one is different. This dream was given by the God of heaven. Nebuchadnezzar slept in the night. Before he slept, he had been thinking, what had happened? What is happening? And what will yet happen? And when he dreamt, it frightened him. Put him in fear. He trembled. But then, lo and behold, he woke up in the morning. The fear remained. The fright remained. The tremor remained. But he forgot the dream. And so he called all the magicians, all the powers that were in his own time. And he told them, I have a dream. I've forgotten, but I need to recall that dream. And I need an interpretation. Those people, with all their powers behind the screen, all their powers from the grave, all their powers in the star. They said, no man, no one on earth can recall the dream that you have dreamt. You dreamt the dream, you forgot, and you want us to dig up, bring out the dream. Nobody can do that, we cannot. The man was so frustrated unhappy and frightened that he said now if you are not able to reveal that dream one thing will happen all of you will die he was afraid that that dream meant he might die himself and so if he died what will those people be doing on earth so he threatened he will kill them. And he meant it. He was serious about that. And Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were part of the group. But Daniel had not been informed. Only that the executioner now came looking for everybody. They will die. They will die. They will die. And when they got to Daniel, 
Daniel said, what's the matter? Why are you so much in a hurry? Go tell the king, I'll dig out that dream. Watch, I'd been lost. Watch, the magicians could not bring out. He, he was so sure. Number one, he had conviction in the Lord that God will not disappoint. The God who gave, the Lord will reveal that again. Number two, he had confidence in the Lord that whatever he asked the Lord, the Lord will grant unto him. Number three, he had the compassion for the magicians that they will not die. He wasn't afraid of himself. If he left here, he was going to go to glory, to be in glory, to be in heaven. And now he had companions that he could rally together and they could pray. And eventually, that's what he did. They prayed and God answered his prayer like God will answer your prayer tonight. Everything you have lost, God will reveal. Everything you are missing, the Lord will reveal. And so Daniel came to the king. And I'm now in chapter 2, verse 27. In Daniel chapter 2, verse 27, Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king has demanded cannot the wise men the astrologers the magicians the soothsayers show unto the king they could not there are things in this life secrets in this life there are some hidden things in this life that no man wise man great man educated man scientific man medical man there are things in this life that come to us they come to nebuchadnezzar's they come to pharaohs and they come to herods and they come to kings and they come to emperors there are things in this life that come to us that no man on earth can help that's why we're here that's now look at verse 28 in verse 28 but there is a god in heaven that's why we're here a god in heaven who reveals secrets a god in heaven who manifests power a god in heaven who heals the sick a god in heaven who does the impossible and in your life tonight what wise men great men medical men professional people have not been able to do tonight god will do it in your life impossibilities will become possible in your life all those things that are forgotten your forgotten strength your forgotten power your forgotten revelation everything you said i had a dream long ago and i thought this is what i will do i've forgotten now your forgotten vision will come up again passion will come up again revelation will come up again new life will come up again in your life in jesus name because there is a God in heaven that reveals secrets. A God in heaven that heals sicknesses. A God in heaven that manifests power. A God in heaven that does what no man can do. And maketh known to the king Nebuchadnezzar that what shall be in the latter days the dream and the vision of thy head upon thy bed are these revelation interpretation came unto him by a man that had the spirit of god in him on him around him underneath him supporting him tonight manifestation in your life revelation in your life power performance in your life tonight in jesus name i'm talking to you tonight on direct connection with the god of all 
possibilities. Direct connection. Tonight, you have that direct connection. Can I hear your amen? amen? Direct connection with the God, a creator, a redeemer, the power that never fails, that gives us revelation, that gives us miracles, that manifests his power, and everything becomes possible in our lives direct connection with the god of all possibilities there are three things we're looking at number one the pain and perplexity of frightful restlessness the pain and the perplexity of frightful restlessness number two is the prayer and perception of full revelation revelation full revelation when daniel came to the lord he said lord show us what the king is looking for is not looking for partial revelation it's not looking for mutilated or you know change adulterated revelation it was looking for a perfect revelation a full revelation and as they prayed that's what they got what we are praying for tonight that's what you will get i said you will get the prayer and the perception of full revelation number three the prince of peace and his final reign the prince of peace christ and his final reign tonight Christ will reign over every challenge of your life, over every problem of your life. Christ, Prince of Peace, having all power, all power on earth and in heaven, he will reign over that confusion, over that problem over that perplexity over that sickness over that ailment and over the very foundation of problems in your life in jesus name the prince of peace and his final rate let's look at number one number one the pain and the perplexity of frightful restlessness i'm coming to daniel chapter 2 i'm reading from verse 1 it says and in the second year of the reign of nebuchadnezzar nebuchadnezzar dreamed dreams wherewith his spirit was troubled and his sleep break went from him in verse 2 it tells us then the king commanded to call the magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the chaldeans for to show the king his dream so they came and stood before the king look at verse 3 in verse 3 it says and the king said unto them i have dreamed a dream and my spirit was troubled to know the dream look at verse 4 in verse 4 it says then speak the chaldeans to the king in syria that's in their language O king live forever tell thy servants the dream and we will show the interpretation they said tell us the dream now if he told them they'll try to say something and since he didn't know what was the right interpretation they will pretend that they were telling him the truth they were deceivers look at verse 5 in verse 5 it says and the king answered and said to the chaldean the thing is gone from me i have forgotten if you will not make known unto me the dream with the interpretation thereof ye shall be caught in pieces and your house shall be made a don't kill well the, the the thing that followed is they kept on saying tell us the dream he said, but I've forgotten. They said, tell us the dream. I just told you now, I have forgotten. But you must tell me. They said, nobody can do that. No, you are forgotten. And you that had the dream, and you are a king, an intelligent man, and you are forgotten. No man on earth 
can reveal this. No man on earth can do this. And that's the reason why we're here. There are things in your life that no man can help you with. There are sicknesses that no man can heal. There are difficulties that no man can solve. There are problems that no man on earth, with all the knowledge of the people of the world, that they can't solve. But there is a God in heaven. Look at First Second Kings chapter six, and I'm reading from verse twenty-seven. It says. And he said, if the Lord do not help thee, when shall I help thee? That's what they were telling him. They say, God in heaven, and they didn't have access to him. They didn't have direct connection with the God of heaven. But then it was different. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were different. But these was, they didn't have the direct connection. And they were telling the king, now, if the Lord does not help you, how can we help help you. That's the situation we find ourselves. Men try to help us. Women try to help us. The people, the powers that be, they try to help us, but their powers amount to nothing. Whether it is the health we urge 30 years ago, how strong we were, how agile we are, we were, how capable we were. But that strength we had, that health we had many, many years ago, it's now gone. And we're searching for it. And we're looking for it like Nebuchadnezzar was looking for his dream. And he couldn't find, and we can't find. The strength we used to have, the power we used to have, the intelligence we used to have, the vision we used to have and the courage we used to have. I remember the good old days, what I could do, where I could go, what I could find, and the way, every, everything I could do, but not everything is gone from man. And man has lost everything. And he's saying, oh, good old days. If I could have that revelation again, that vision again, that passion again, that health again, that power again, that finance again that joy again but it's gone and then we look at men and we look for men that will give us but they cannot help it reminds me of a woman in Mark chapter 5 looking at verse 25 Mark chapter 5 verse 25 and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years a woman now old perhaps in her 30s Perhaps in her 40s, and she was saying the health I used to have, the soundness I used to have, and the cleanness I used to have, all that strength is gone. All that health is gone. All that ability is gone. All that strength of life and confidence in life all that is gone for the past 12 years now she had an issue of blood and it was just flowing and flowing every day it changed her personality it changed her self-confidence changed virtually everything in her life and then in verse 26 it says and had suffered many things of many physicians and a speech all that she had and was nothing bettered but rather grew worse for Nebuchadnezzar as uh, minutes passed by hours passed by the fright the fear the tremor the trauma was increasing because as the days were going he said i'm afraid i'm afraid tell me tell me very quickly they said no man can help you in all my realm in all of babylon nobody could help look at this woman here we're reading about as the weeks pass as the months pass as the years pass until the 12th year of the problem no help came and she was going from bad to wars and she grew wars nobody could help but one day she heard of Jesus like Nebuchadnezzar one day he heard of Daniel and Daniel said rest your mind 
Put away your fear and all the fright. Take that away. God in heaven that reveals secret, it will reveal this unto us and will give it to you. And so she heard of Jesus. And now she said, all that have labored for, all that have been looking for, all that have been searching for 12 years, I didn't have. My day has now come, I heard of Jesus. Your day has come. I said, your day has come. All that you were searching for, the strength, the health, the energy, the ability, the good old days, what you had in the good old days that now were lost and you couldn't find, tonight is the night of recovery. Tonight is the night of revelation. Tonight is the night of power manifestation in your life in Jesus' name. Look at verse 27. In verse 27, when she heard, she had heard of Jesus. She came in the press behind and touched his garment. You will touch him tonight. He will touch you tonight. And that thing that made you afraid, maybe I'll never get well again. If Kanesa said, maybe I'll never recover this revelation. I'll never recover this power. I'll never recover this knowledge. I'll never recover this thing that was revealed to me. Maybe you have been thinking, I'll never get this back. The energy and the vision. And the revelation and the manifestation and the performance I'll never get. Tonight you will get. Tonight you will receive. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. Look at verse 28. For she said, If I may but touch his clothes, I shall behold that's your language tonight as you touch him tonight you will behold everything missing your life everything will come back the joy missing in your life everything will come back the power the strength missing in your life everything will come back verse 29 in verse 29 and straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up. Solution came for a 12 year long problem. She had been living with that problem, with that sorrow, with that suffering, with that sickness, 12 years. No single day of relief. But the moment that Christ came into her life and the moment she taught Jesus final solution came to you for you for your baby for your wife for your children for your husband and that challenge that had knocked you down and now it's like Am I going to die in this situation? You will not die in that situation. It says, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Look at verse 34. In verse 34, it says, and he said unto her daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. And behold, of thy plague, fear went away. Faith came in. For Nebuchadnezzar, fear had not ruled his life. A person who was like an who was an emperor of the whole world at that time, the number one in the world at that time, fear, fright, ruined his life. Nothing to be joyful about. Nothing to be happy about. He became so frightened, so fearful that he wanted to kill everybody that he had been trusting, depending on. But now, 
as Daniel came up and said, and Daniel said, don't bother about that. There's a God in heaven. That God in heaven will solve your problem and the problem was solved. And I come to you tonight to declare to you, there is a God in heaven. It will solve your problem. It will recover the loss. And it will bring back everything that made you happy, joyful in your life. Tonight, the night of revelation, restoration in your life in Jesus' name. Understand, no man can do this. But God in heaven will do it for you. Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 23. In Jeremiah 13, 23, can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? It's a, a pictorial way of saying, can Nebuchadnezzar change his situation? Can Nebuchadnezzar get the solution? Can these magicians and astrologers, can they find the solution? Can you, can I, can any man living on earth solve this unsolvable problem? Can the Ethiopian change a skin or the leopard a spores? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to doing evil. Let's come to point number two now. Point number two, we're looking at the prayer and the perception of full revelation. We're looking at Daniel chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 17. Daniel chapter 2 verse 17. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions, in verse 18, that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning their secret, because the whole nation was kept at a standstill. Not only that Nebuchadnezzar was afraid, all those magicians and their families, all the astrologers and their families, all the soothsayers and their families, all the people, the cabinet, and the counselors of Nebuchadnezzar, they were now fearful. They were going to die. Their families were fearful. They were going to lose the breadwinner. And so, prayer was necessary. And that's why you came tonight. We're going to pray. I said, we're going to pray. That thing that perplexed you, that thing that had pained you, that thing that appeared, there's no solution. Praise the Lord, your solution has come. That they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning the secret that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Verse 19, then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Tonight, you will bless the God of heaven. Tonight, you will praise the Lord. You will have testimony tonight. What magicians could not do. What the powers of darkness could not do. And what all the powers that be, what they could not do. The Lord will do it for you tonight. Look at verse 20 there in verse 20. It says that Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. For wisdom and might are his. The wisdom to solve every problem of your life, the wisdom belongs to him and might the power in heaven, the power on earth, the power everywhere, the power that will roll your mountain away, that power belongs to God. He'll manifest it in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Look at verse 28 there. In verse 28, but there is a God in heaven. 
that revealeth secrets and maketh known to the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in the latter days thy dream and the visions of thy head upon thy bed are these now he began to reveal to him what he thought he would never have got the lord is going to give you tonight what you thought you would never have got solution to every problem of your life salvation to the sin that travels your life and the lord is going to set you free tonight totally completely you will triumph in jesus name why look at luke chapter 18 verse 27 luke chapter 18 verse 27 and he said the things which are impossible with men are possible with god the confession of those magicians of those who say they said king this is impossible and there is no king on earth that ever demanded this of his counselors this is impossible with men but the lord has assured us the things which are impossible with men the things you have been struggling with you want to overcome this overcome a bad life bad habit evil habit because they are destroying your life they're destroying your progress and you've tried and tried and tried you have tried have you tried psychology have you tried philosophy have you tried traditional medicine have you tried idolatry have you tried all the powers they talk about in the village in your community and they couldn't solve the problem and they became those problems have become impossible with man but the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Tonight, we come to a God of all possibility. It will solve that problem. It will reveal that lost thing, that lost thing, lost person, a child that is lost, and you reported here, reported here, reported there, that child will come back home and your health that you have lost and you try to take this and take this and take the herb and take the pills and take the supplement and take everything in and you're still as weak as ever strength healing will come tonight because we're serving a god of all possibilities you're delivered tonight in jesus name the things which are impossible with men are possible with god jeremiah chapter 33 and i'm reading from verse 3 jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 call unto me that's what daniel did when all the other people were saying impossible 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 nobody can discover this nobody can have this daniel said there is a god in heaven if you change your language if you stop saying impossible 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 and you change your language and you say there is a god in heaven it will heal me there's a god in heaven it will solve my problem there's a god in heaven it'll make provision for me there's a god in heaven it will break the head of leviathan out of my life and family it will happen tonight call unto me and i will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not which thou knowest not which thou knowest not I the God of heaven I the God of creation I the God of all power if you call unto me right here today in that place where you are online I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not amen amen, amen.
First Corinthians chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 9. In First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, but as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them, has provided for them, that love him ears have not heard. The kind of testimonies we are going to have tonight, ears have not heard, eyes have not seen, neither have entered into the heart of man. The things you've been praying about and fasting about, you fasted seven days, uh -huh. you fasted 21 days, yes, and you fasted, uh, you know, dry fasting and water fasting and fruit fasting, you fasted and fasted, and yet you have not uh, got it. Tonight is the night of your answer. Heaven will say yes for you. So it shall be. Healing, it shall be. Salvation, it shall be. Your confusion will be wiped away, will be taken off tonight in Jesus' name. All the perplexity, all the pain, all the fear, all the impossibility, everything is turning around tonight and your life is getting to a new level, a higher level, a brighter level, a better level tonight in Jesus' name. I has not seen. Look at verse 10. In verse 10, but God has revealed them. In verse 9, I has not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of any man. But in verse 10, God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. Hold on, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Watch in verse 9. The eyes of those magicians have not seen what had not entered into their heart, and what Nebuchadnezzar himself, what he had forgotten, us, us, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, as they went to prayer. And as we go to prayer tonight, God has revealed them to us by his spirit your healing has been revealed to us your deliverance has been revealed to us the solution to your problem has been revealed to us you are going to have that tonight in Jesus name and it says for the spirit searches all things yea the deep things of God look at verse 12 in verse 12 now we have received now we have received look at Daniel walking in area take me to the king what do you mean what the magicians have not got what success have not got he says we have received and they walk again with the conviction that this is the truth again with the confidence that this is what God had revealed to Nebuchadnezzar that he forgot they said take us to the king and then they called to the king Daniel are you able to reveal to me that dream that I had that frightened me are you able to tell me what all these authorities on earth have not been able to reveal unto me O king live forever that's what they always tell them they don't live forever but that's that's what they all long live the king that's what he was saying watch the magicians and the says what they could not reveal we have received you receive tonight miracle salvation joy in your heart a new lease of life for you tonight we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of god that we might know 
that we might know. What they don't know that we might know. What they don't have that we might have. What they have never experienced that we might experience. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. It's coming your way. Blessing coming your way. Salvation, forgiveness coming your way. You receive tonight in Jesus' name. Look at number three now. Number three, we're looking at the Prince of Peace and his final reign. The Prince of Peace and his final reign. And look at Daniel chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 34. Daniel revealed the dream. And what was the dream? Nebuchadnezzar had seen an image. And the image, the head, was of gold. And the chest and the arms, silver. And then the trunk, maybe bronze or something, and the feet, iron, and the toes, iron, and clay. And as Nebuchadnezzar was looking at that in the dream, a stone came, taken out of the mountain without any hand, and that stone was thrown at the image and the whole image from top to bottom crumbled everything scattered and daniel got the dream and he got the revelation what was the revelation that daniel revealed babylon the head of gold the babylonian empire after that, the Middle Persian Empire, having two arms, will follow. And then the Grecian Empire will follow. And finally, there will be the Roman Empire. Empire number one, number two, number three, number four. And then there will be a stone. That stone the cornerstone the stone that the builders rejected will smash everything down that you will not find a trace of them anymore and the stone will become a mighty great mountain that will fill the whole earth is the vision of christ that christ as that cornerstone, the cornerstone of our salvation, of our healing, of our dominion, the cornerstone of our royalty, because we're going to reign with him, will crush every other power, and only Christ will be known in your life. Can I hear an amen there? What does that mean for you? What does that mean for me? The empires, let me use another word, the kingdoms that have reigned in our lives. Number one, the kingdom of darkness. That Babylonian empire was kingdom of darkness. Number two, the kingdom of disease. The kingdom of confusion. The kingdom that stamped on everybody, the kingdom that brought everybody down, disease. Number three, the kingdom of demons, the demons that ravaged every life, the kingdom of demons that kept everybody under suppression and oppression. Number four, the kingdom of death and destruction. Christ coming on the cross of Calvary. And Daniel had this revelation. It was something for him. You mean all the kingdom of darkness? Everything will be smashed? Yes. You mean all the kingdom of disease? 
The people who are studying medical science, they are telling us that in the world, the kingdom of disease is expanding, expanding. And they say that, I have not checked up, but the authorities say the encyclopedia of diseases that they have more than 20 thousand diseases and they're still increasing it's like a kingdom and any village you get to any locality you get to any nation you get to that kingdom is ravaging the life of everyone the kingdom of demons evil spirits touching this tormenting this tormenting that and the kingdom of death Premature day, everything in the life of everyone, Christ has come. I said Christ has come. And today, that stone, that cornerstone of our salvation, he'll take you out of the kingdom of darkness, he'll bring you to his marvelous light. He'll take you out of all that disease and the Lord is going to smash, is going to destroy that disease in your life tonight in Jesus' name. And all those demons, something crawling on your back, something tormenting your head and something rumbling in your, in your belly and something breaking your bone and you cannot see them and you go for x-ray and they cannot see them. The x-ray of the Almighty will discover them tonight. And Christ will smash them out of your life in Jesus' name. And the kingdom of death and destruction. How many times have you dreamt? You dreamt that you died. And you dreamt that, you know, this happened and that happened. And it's like, I'm gone. And then you wake up. But you are sweating when you, when you woke up. Because... The king of death, the destroyer, is knocking at the door. And he's saying, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And then you tell this, you tell this, you tell that. And there's no way for you to overcome. All those magicians, all those sorcerers, they couldn't deliver you from the kingdom of death and destruction. And then you sleep again. And all the people you can see, all of us who are still alive, you can see those who are, you cannot see those who are alive. All the people you see, they say, come, when are you coming? When are you coming? And that one is dead you see him that one is dead you see her and they're saying come now come now let's come, let's go together and then you wake up again and uh, what am i going to do you're afraid tonight that kingdom of death and destruction will be destroyed out of your life taking away from your life in jesus name kingdom number one kingdom of darkness Kingdom number two, kingdom of disease. And kingdom number three, kingdom of demons. And kingdom number four, kingdom of premature death, the stone. Christ, the prince of peace, of all power, is coming to you tonight. It will crush everything out of your life. Look at Daniel chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 34. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them in pieces. Verse 35 it says then well, the iron and the clay and the brass and the silver and the gold broke in to pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors and the wind carried them away. All those works of the devil in your life, the wind will carry everything away. Tonight, I say tonight, I say tonight, all those things are smashed away out of your life in Jesus' name. That no place was found for them, no place in your head for the devil. 
no place in your body for disease no place in your mind for demons no place in your house for a uh, premature death in jesus name and the stone that's much the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth christ will fill your whole life he'll be with you at home on the road in the office in the farm at the fishing point anywhere everywhere you go christ in all his power will now fill your life it tells us in verse 44 in verse 44 it tells us it says and in the days of these kings shall the god of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed the salvation you have from christ tonight shall never be destroyed the healing you have from christ tonight shall never be destroyed the deliverance dominion you have from the lord tonight will never be destroyed and the king shall not be led to other people and it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms of darkness of disease of demons of death shall consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever look at verse 45 for as much as thou sawest the stone that was cut out of the mountain without hands and that it break in pieces the iron the brass the clay the silver and the gold the great god has made known unto the king what shall come to pass hereafter the dream is certain the interpretation thereof sure what was said tonight is certainly to be fulfilled in your life sure to be fulfilled in your life in jesus name matthew chapter 28 reading from verse 18 matthew chapter 28 verse 18 and jesus came and spake unto them saying all power all power there's no other power the power of that image of gold silver brass iron iron and clay all power all other powers everything now crushed crumbled shattered and the wind has carried them away evil power will not operate your life again as you connect with christ as you make him your lord and savior as you receive him today as your lord and your savior his is the power his is the dominion his is the authority and tonight you are totally free I rejoice with you because now the Christ of all power he has power to save he has power to heal he has power to destroy all the works of the devil he has power to set you free he has power to recreate a new life in your life that Christ is coming to you connected to you right now in jesus name all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth anywhere you are on earth anywhere you are right now on earth christ's power will touch you there because every part belongs to him in fact it's going to take you out of where you were and you're going to have a new life a revealed life a resurrection life a life that had never been you will have that in jesus name look at psalm 145 
I'm reading from verse 13. Psalm 145, verse 13. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. All those other kingdoms of darkness, not everlasting. All the kingdom of disease, not everlasting. All the kingdom of demons, not everlasting. All the kingdom of, um, of death, premature death, not everlasting. But the kingdom that comes to you now, thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generation and this is the generation where christ is still walking and is walking with power and his power now covers everywhere in the world and is going to get to you look at verse 19 in verse 19 it says he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him any desire you have desire for freedom the desire for forgiveness the desire of the joy of salvation taking root in your life he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him he also will hear their cry and save them he will hear your cry tonight and save you I said they will hear your cry tonight and save you. Look at Ephesians chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 6. Ephesians chapter 2. And we're looking at verse 6. It says, and he has raised us up together. And made all sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You understand? He has raised us up. He died for us. He was buried on our behalf. He was raised, resurrected for us. And now that we believe in him, he takes our hand. He raises us up to sit together in heavenly places above Babylon. He has raised up together to sit with him in heavenly places above Middle Persia. He has raised up together and now he makes us to sit with him in heavenly places above the power of the Grecian Empire. He has raised us up and he makes us to sit in heavenly places together with him above the Roman Empire. Those empires and those powers are crushed out of our lives now. And now the Lord Jesus Christ, as we believe in him, as we trust him as we link up directly with him he raises us up above the kingdom of darkness no darkness in your life again the powers of darkness will be shattered out of your life tonight in Jesus name he has raised us up above the kingdom of disease and defilement and all the things that defile were now on top I am now on top. He raised us up above the kingdom of demons. All those evil spirits and evil powers, they are running here and running there. When they come to your door, uh -uh, no go area. You are now in no go area for demons, for evil spirits, for evil power. You are raised up and made to see together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Premature death dare not come near you. The death that kills the people from the empires of the iron and the clay. No, they are scattered on your behalf. Connected with Christ, converted to Christ, reconciled through Christ, you are now totally free look at verse 8 in verse 8 it says for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God that's how it comes that's how your victory comes that's how your revelation comes that's how the resurrection power comes in your life that's how you come now above 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 all those other powers in the world that by grace 
you are saved through faith. That not of yourselves, it is now the gift of God. The gift is available for you tonight. Salvation available for you tonight. Connection with Christ, your Savior. Connection with Christ, your healer. Connection with Christ, your Redeemer is available for you tonight. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Where are you? I said, where are you? Praise the Lord. You are saved tonight. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. You've seen the conquering power of Christ. You have seen the saving power of Christ. You have seen the dominion of Christ, the everlasting kingdom of Christ. It's about eyes closed. The Lord is now inviting you so that the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of defilement, the kingdom of depravity, the kingdom of disease, the kingdom of demons, the kingdom of the old serpent, the kingdom of death will not have authority over your life anymore. That's why you are coming in connection with Christ right now. You want to give your life to Christ, to be your savior and to be your Lord tonight. Where, where are you? Raise up your hand there and come out of the authority of the kingdom of darkness raise up your hand god bless you there god bless you there you, you are raising up your hand you can stand up now just stand up stand up stand up for jesus like a soldier of the cross like you now understand he is my savior he is my lord like you understand that he is the power that destroys every other power on earth against your life and he forgives you and it saves you and it turns your life around raise up that hand and stand up and say lord here i am i come so that i will not be under the rule of the kingdom of darkness kingdom of disease kingdom of depravity kingdom of defilement and kingdom of demons or kingdom of death now i come in connection with christ I accept him as my savior. I accept him as my Lord. Raise up the hand and stand up and say, Lord, I come out of all those kingdoms. I come into the kingdom of Christ. He's my savior and Lord right now. Keep on standing as I pray with you. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because of the call, because of the connection, and because of the conversion that we have now. Lord, I pray, forgive everyone responding now. Forgive them their sins in Jesus' name. Take the punishment of sin away from them. Take the pollution of sin away from them. Break the power of sin out of their lives in Jesus name. Grant them your salvation, your forgiveness, your freedom, your redemption right now. I pray Lord you take their portion, take their name out of the kingdom of darkness, defilement, and bring them into the kingdom of your dear son. Let the joy of salvation come up in every heart standing right now. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. We call on our overseer uh, to come now and lead us at this time of counseling. God bless you.
Counselors, workers, please let's move into the midst of the people, those who are raising up their hands, standing up. Let's attend to them. Remain standing, please. This is a happy moment for you. Angels are rejoicing on your behalf in heaven. They're happy to see you come into God's kingdom, into the family of God's son. It's a glorious experience. Keep on standing. And I cancel us, please. Let's make sure we leave nobody unattended to. Move to the back. People are there standing. Make sure you write boldly, clearly, all the information. Ensure that the phone number, the digits are correct, 11. Once you finish with somebody, look at the next person, move there quickly. If they have not attended to you, remain standing, please. They will soon get to you. Counselors, look at those at the back. Please, let's spread all over the congregation to ensure that everyone that is standing up is captured. Give all the information correctly to those counselors attending to you. Do it joyfully and willingly because it's a day of joy. A great day. A day you will never forget in your life. A day you will always remember to glorify God. A day that you give your life to Christ. It's a blessed day. Counsel us. I see some of us just walking. Look at those who are standing on the other side. Please attend to them. Let's hurry up, please. If you are standing and nobody is attending to you, wave your hand to them. Don't sit down until you are attended to.
those who have finished, the people they are cancelling, don't just stay there. Let's move towards the back. Our supervisors, please ensure the even spread of the counselors. All those who are online and you are giving your life to Christ, I congratulate you for this great step you are taking. And you need to take steps to continue with the Lord. If you are on TV or social media, you will see the telephone number that is being streamed there. There's a link also that is, you know, going now, which you can click and submit the information required. There's a phone number also. Either you're on the radio or you are on other uh, uh, social uh, media platforms. Please listen now. You can write it down so that you send your message to us so that we know you are giving your life to Christ. We can join you in prayer. We can contact you as well. Plus two, three, four, nine, one, five, four, 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 nine, two, six, three. Once again, plus two, three, four. Nine one five four 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 nine two six three. As there's a good news for you all. There's be there will be a special meeting lunch hour with Jesus online. And for us here in the Alpha location, if you are giving your life to Christ, the launch hour for Christ or with Christ is coming up at the campus or just on your left hand side as you are facing me, just behind us there. You see the hall, that is where the launch are with Christ. For all who are giving their life to Christ, either today or yesterday, you know, you'll be there, a special time awaits you. The time tomorrow is 2.30 p.m. Please make sure you are there. And for People online, our friends online, the detail of the launch hour with Christ will be sent unto you. Just make sure you fill those information and send uh, to us. Our counselors, supervisors, you can signal to us if you are finished. Those in the front, if you are finished, on my left hand side, can you wave to us so that we know you are finished? Those on the right hand side, can you signify if you are finished? Wave to us so that we know you are finished. And the same thing, those at the back, because tonight is going to be great. 
Tonight is going to be special. The servant of God, a father in the Lord, the convener of the GCK, is ready, prepared to minister to you in prayers for the avalanche of miracles that God has prepared for you already. And you must get your own. Those who are not raising up your hand, just be getting ready and be praying in your heart with faith and great expectation because tonight your miracle will really touch you. Cancel us, please. We are waiting for you. We want to see whether you are finished. Let's please hurry up to ensure that nobody is left unattended to. Get ready for your miracle. As the rain of prayer come down tonight, your cup will be full and overflowing. Those at the back, I cannot see anybody waving. If you are finished, can you wave to us? Okay. Thank you. On the left hand side at the back, can we see any signal? Get ready. The time has come now for you to receive your miracle as the servant of God. Come up now. Get ready. Rise up on your feet. Thank you, sir. See how you are clapping as if there's something in your hand. Praise the Lord. Christ, the stone that came out of that mountain without hands, has brought every kingdom down. Yeah. Darkness gone. Yeah. Disease gone. Yeah. Demons paralyzed. Yeah. Premature death cancelled. Yeah. Yours is now to reap the benefit and Christ will deliver you from every work of darkness and work of the devil in your life Christ will reign in health in joy, in deliverance in dominion in your life tonight raise up your hand, you need a miracle and lay your hand where you have the problem. No problem shall abide and remain in your body, in your heart, in your home after the final amen tonight. And after the final amen, you check up yourself. A miracle already will be there. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the revelation that had been lost but now you have recovered you have revealed your secret unto us you have revealed the secret 
that sickness cancelled disease cancelled demonic power cancelled premature death cancelled and you have brought us up from the dungeon and prison of captivity and you have raised us up to sit in heavenly places with Christ the Christ of all power I pray the power of Christ will manifest in every life right now in Jesus name all the power of demons evil spirits broken away from your life now disease cancel right now in Jesus name healing for everyone deliverance for everyone dominion for everyone Lord I pray any sickness from the top of the head to the tip of the toe take everything out right now in Jesus name madness insanity you are crushed and cancelled swelling goiter tumor fibroid near elephantiasis hunchback be removed now in Jesus name blindness be my sight the Lord touch you now heal you now in Jesus name deafness dumbness you are healed now in Jesus name that is your blood dry up right now in Jesus name pal be healed in Jesus name all that oppression in the night evil powers pressing you down tormenting your life double crossing your way I command that evil power evil spirit evil personality come out in Jesus name and I pray for those who have stepped on poison and since that time the heat from the uh, bottom of your feet everything is just uh, you know tormenting your life you are delivered in Jesus name Lord I pray for those who have a kidney problem and they have lungs problem and they have breathing problem I pray touch them right now heal them in Jesus name every kind of sickness every form of infirmity be taken out of your life right now and that Christ the cornerstone of our salvation of our healing of our deliverance of our dominion strike every evil thing out of your life right now in Jesus name you're free you are healed you are delivered manifestation in your life right now performance in your life right now demonstration of divine power in your life now in Jesus name it is not it is confirmed you are healed you are delivered thank you Lord for the confirmation in Jesus name I pray it is done I said it is done check up yourself now you'll see that miracle that healing signs and wonders already there